to be down that much, you know, in a TBT game, everyone knows how tough that is. No hands. No hands. Oh, good, oh, good hands. Oh, Elijah Johnson. Oh, Big bucket. Big turn of events as the last several minutes were all team foe. They go in with a commanding 16 point lead on a 12 to 2 run. I feel like at, at, at halftime, it's just like, you just sit there like, like, damn, what are we gonna do now? Like, uh, kind of kind of stuck, but you know, when, when it, one thing is about, about us, especially have being, have being rivals um, in college, when they start talking, like we, we start playing and having a guy like uh, Eric Divinov, who never backs down. He won't back down from anything. But so, so once once Team Foe like they started feeling themselves a little bit, I feel like, uh, yeah, all right, nah, nah, it's time, it's time to, to get out, take it off. <laughs> Team Foe in the second half, Fran has taken seven shots, made six. Yep, and most of them assisted. Okay. Look at that, Marcus Kennedy. Oh. Wow, <laughs> putting on a clinic. The takeaway, and that's 12 in a row for Bayheim. You're just going to keep fighting all the way through the game, you know, regardless of what the outcome is. You, you know, you're going to keep competing and keep playing as hard as you can. Um, and when you do that, you know, sometimes it works out for you, right? The team starts to make mistakes. They start to get a little bit tighter, doing things that, um, you know, they probably wouldn't, wouldn't usually be doing. And then he recovers to grab the rebound. The last lead for Bayheim's Army, 9-8. to eight. This is the best Ashante Riley's ever played in a Syracuse uniform. And Devendorf makes the comeback complete with a minute 49 to play. It was it was amazing, man. And I think the crowd had a lot to do with it once we, um, you know, started creeping back in there. You know, James hitting the three, Trish getting the and one. It was an amazing run. And, and to be able to do it in New York with our fans, um, it was pretty incredible to be a part of. Bayheim's Army closes the game on a 40 to 10 run over the final 11:41 to shock Team Bone.